Hi guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to come back to top selling 110cc scooters, which are the Honda's Activa 5G and TVS's Jupiter Grandi. Like all our comparisons, we are going to concentrate on 5 factors, which are design, specifications, right quality and comfort, price, and all the other stuff. First, we are going to check the design. And starting from the front, both the scooters actually look a lot identical. It's like they both have the same basic structure. They are slightly shuffling of components, like the indicators, which are actually on the front panel in the Jupiter, while it's on the handlebar on the Activa 5G. Then the headlamp, both of them are LED, but for the pilot lights, they are also positioned on different sides. In the Jupiter, it's on the bottom of the headlight, and in Activa, it's on the top. And also, the Jupiter has a chrome portion on the front of the mudguard, while the Activa gets chrome garnish on the main body. So from the front, I liked both of them, they both looks classic and good. And now, let's shift our concentration to the rear of the scooter. Starting with Jupiter, it has the fuel tank access here, which is a neat addition since you don't have to open the seat for accessing the fuel tank. Then just below that is the indicator and tail light, which is LED. You also get a comfortable body colored pillion grab rail with the Jupiter Grande. Moving to the Activa 5G, it also has a comfortable pillion grab rail but it is not body colored and also with the Activa we are missing out the external fuel access and for the tail light it's a bigger unit with indicators flying around either side. So for the rare I actually prefer rare design of the Jupiter Grande. Now let's check the speedometer console starting with the Jupiter Grande and it is a very clean and neat looking digital analog meter on the Grande. The analog part shows the speed while the digital part shows the fuel level, time, trip, distance covered etc. The backlight used is blue and its visibility is also good in daytime. And on the Activa 5G, the speedometer console varies based on the model you choose. The standard variant has an analog meter, while the DX variant has a digital analog meter. Compared to the Jupiter, this one looks just fine. It also displays similar stuff like the Jupiter Grande. And for the backlight, the Activa DX variant console has a white backlight and it also has good visibility in daytime. The handlebar of both the scooters looks standard and one difference here is the color scheme. Now Activa 5G gets black panels which is standard and it's not a new thing but the Jupiter actually gets beige colored panels. It surely looks premium but it's not gonna stay like that forever. It will get dirty and over time it might look really bad. For the handlebar switch controls both of them get all necessary controls with Jupiter having the upper hand with the pass light control as an extra. For the seats Activa gets standard black colored seats but the Jupiter Grande on the other hand gets very premium looking maroon colored cross stitch pattern seats. This premium touch with the Jupiter Grande can also be seen with the rims where the Jupiter is getting a very unique and surely eye catching diamond cut alloy wheels but sadly Activa doesn't get any form of alloy wheels. The main body panel of the Jupiter Grande looks compact compared to the Activa and again here also you can see the chrome touch is used. While the Activa 5G's main body panel is a bit more large compared to the Jupiter and here it just has the Activa branding in chrome finish. Both the scooters they are made of metal which will really help in the durability. And finally the exhaust both of them look almost identical with different colored muffler protectors. So for the design even though both of them have similarities I prefer the Jupiter Grande mainly because of its premium design and a bit more polished finish compared to the Activa. Now to the second factor the technical specifications. Let's first check the Jupiter Grande and the engine used here is 109.7 cc air-cooled four-stroke single cylinder engine which produces maximum power of approximately 5.88 kilowatt at 7500 rpm and maximum torque of approximately 8.4 newton meter at 5500 rpm. The front suspension on the Jupiter is a telescopic suspension and the rear is a three-step adjustable gas charged monoshock suspension. The brakes vary based on the model you choose. If you choose Grande drum, then the front will be 130mm drum. But if you choose Grande disc, then the front will be 220mm disc. And for both the variants, the rear is 130mm drum. And it doesn't matter which variant you choose, both of them get SBS or sync braking system. Then for the tires, both are tubeless tires and are 90mm in thickness. And the rim size is 12 inches, which is a really good thing. And finally, the seat height of the Jupiter Grande is 765mm and the ground clearance is 150mm. Now for the Activa 5G, the engine used is a 109.19cc 
fan-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine. This engine can produce maximum power of approximately 5.86 kilowatts at 7,500 rpm and maximum net torque of 9 Newton meter at 5,500 rpm. Suspension is replaced where Activa falls because the front and rear suspension is the spring-loaded hydraulic type. And when it comes to brakes, even though there are two models, both of them have identical brakes where the front and rear are 130mm drum with CBS which is combi braking system. This technology is pretty famous now and what it does is that both the brakes work together to provide better stopping. And CBS used in Activa and the SBS used in Grandi, they both are the same technology. For the tires used in Activa 5G, they are the tubeless type where both the front and rear are 90mm in thickness and the rim size is 10 inches. And finally, the seat height of the Activa 5G is 765 mm and the ground clearance is 153 mm. That's all for the specifications of both the scooters. And now to the most important factor, which is the ride quality and comfort. As usual, we'll start with the Jupiter Grande. And the Jupiter Grande's engine is tuned well to quickly accelerate and gain speed. Everything is set really well, so you won't experience any vibrations from the handle or any body parts. Even while riding in the 60 to 70 range, the engine sounds refined and the riding experience is smooth. The seats on the Jupiter Grande looks premium and has sufficient cushioning for both the rider and pillion and the riding posture is upright. The handlebar is a bit on the lower side and same is with the seat height. It also feels to be on the lower side even though the seat height is 765 mm. It can be because of the seat's design and because of that, after riding for approximately 50 km in a stretch, the seats felt a bit discomfortable. Now it's the seats that felt discomfortable and not the overall riding experience. The suspensions used on the Jupiter Grande are really good ones and even while riding through rough conditions, I didn't experience any stress or strain. And I really like the suspensions used on the Jupiter Grande. And for the brakes, the Grande edition with disc was the one we tested and the braking was really good and we could stop easily without any skids. And finally for the headlight visibility at night, the Grande's LED headlight is a strong one. The headlight has wide coverage and even in pitch dark, I didn't have any issues. Now for the Activa 5G, its engine is so refined and smooth that it was a real joy to ride the Activa. The engine also has sufficient power so it can accelerate pretty fast and also gain speed with ease. I didn't experience any vibrations from the Activa 5G even while riding in the 70s and I can say it without any doubt that this Honda engine is one of the most refined engines in any scooter. The seats on the Activa 5G are also more comfortable than the ones on the Jupiter. The cushioning feels much better especially for the rider and even the seat height, it felt better than the Jupiter even though it's similar to the Jupiter Grande at 765mm. The riding poster is upright and it's comfortable but the suspension is not that good when compared to the Jupiter Grande. During normal day-to-day -day use, the suspension used on the Activa is fine but when you compare it with Jupiter, this one feels bad. Same story with the brakes. There is just the drum brake variant and it has CBS and at control speed, you won't have any issues while stopping. But again, when compared to Jupiter Grande's disc brake, the Grande has better stopping. And finally, for Activa 5G's headlight visibility at night, the LED headlamps used in the Activa 5G are good. But the headlight is set differently in the Activa when compared to the Jupiter. This one has a longer range, but it is not as widespread as the Jupiter. But still, with this one, you can easily ride through pitch dark conditions. So now, to the fourth factor, which is price. The Jupiter Grande Edition has two variants and the pricing for the drum brake variant is approximately 61,317 extra room and for the disc brake variant it is approximately 64,789 Indian rupees extra room. And for the Activa again there are two variants which are the standard and deluxe and the standard variant's extra room pricing is approximately 58,048 Indian rupees and the deluxe variant's extra room pricing is 59,000 913 Indian rupees. The last thing we are going to check is all the other stuff and in that the first thing is the underseat storage and for the Jupiter and Activa 5G it is a sufficiently large space but both of them cannot fit in a large size fully covered helmet. This space will take in your personal items and even you can opt for a mobile charging port. Then for the hooks available the Jupiter and Activa has a front and rear hook and in both scooters they are of good quality. For the color options available the Jupiter Grande just has one color choice which is the starlight blue while the Activa 5G has 8 color options 
and the ones shown in the video are the pearl spot and red and the dazzle yellow metallic. Finally, the last thing we'll check is the fuel tank capacity and the mileage and for the Jupiter Grandi, the fuel tank capacity is 5 liters and during our testing, we got approximately 50 km per liter mileage in city. And for the Activa, the tank capacity is slightly higher at 5.3 liters and in city, we got an approx mileage of 53 km per liter. So that's it. We checked every factor that really matter while choosing your next quarter. But still the big question remains, which one should you buy? Well, this comparison was really tough. Jupiter Grand is a more premium looking scooter than the Activa 5G and TVS has made some good choices while selecting the suspension and also the brakes, they gave us an option of either disc or drum. Even some other stuff like the awesome looking diamond cut alloy wheels, chrome accents, stylish seat, etc. surely makes the Jupiter Grand Air stand out compared to the more neutral finished Activa 5G. But still, everyone's choice varies while choosing a scooter. If you are a person who prefer real premium finish and doesn't matter spending approximately 65,000 Indian rupees ex showroom, then you know the one that you want. That is the Jupiter Grandi. But for me, even though I like the premium styling of the Grandi, while choosing a scooter from the two, I prefer spending less and getting the Activa 5G. Now, the main reason for that is because I like the Activa's much more refined engine. It is a tried and tested one, which is now well perfected. Surely by making this choice, I will miss the better suspension and even the disc brake option. But considering it's a scooter and since I'm not gonna ride beyond its limits, I'll be fine with this choice. But as I said before, it varies based on individuals and either of the two you choose, you won't be disappointed. That's all for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and please do subscribe. And please leave a comment in the comment section which one is your choice. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye and always ride safe.